The Atlanta Hawks have assembled the next great mid-range shooting duo in Trey Young and DeJounte Murray. Some of the best duels in the league being Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving of the Brooklyn Nets, Zach Levine and DeMar DeRozan from the Chicago Bulls, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George from the LA Clippers, and Chris Paul and Devin Booker of the Phoenix Suns. The mid-range shot is still valuable among some of the best scorers and playoff teams such as the Chicago Bulls and Phoenix Suns use the mid-range as a majority of their offense last season. For the Hawks, the addition of DeJounte Murray already builds on the offensive production from Trey Young, who is able to pick teams apart off of ball screens, get in the lane, utilizing floaters or pull-up shots. Young's production comes mostly in the mid-range area. Young has one of the highest IQs and has a great feel for the game, great in ball screens, one of the best passers in the league, tremendous accuracy on his passes, and has a variety of passes in his arsenal, excels with skip, bounce, and lob passes. The mid-range game from the backcourt is going to be valuable for the Hawks this year. Murray is a great player who rose to being a 20 points per game guy, an average high assist while also being a great point of attack defender. Murray's mid-range game in San Antonio developed tremendously over the years to where he can get to his spots easily and has that confidence to pull up over anyone with his high release. We're going to look at Murray's preseason debut game with the Hawks against the Bucks, putting up 25 points on 9 for 13 shooting, 9 assists, and 8 rebounds. Murray at 6'4 with a 6'10 wingspan, he can get his shot off of over anyone. So off this drag screen, he gets the switch on Portis, so Murray looks to attack this, sees the defender pedaling back, looking to play for the drive. Now this long mid-range area near the free throw line, outside the three-point line, this is the area Murray likes to go to. So as he sees the defender pedaling back, he likes that space that he has, so he's able to get right into that shot comfortably with not much of a contest, and he knocks it down. Murray also has a floater in his game, so here he gets the ball, gets a ball screen for Okongwu. The Bucks like to play Brooke Lopez and drop coverage, so he comes off the screen, gets his defender in a crab. Now this is just a, a tough shot. Quick hop to break away from his defender. Now look at the arc and touch on his floater for strong contest. Gets it up high off the glass and he makes it. Again, Lopez is in that drop here, Capella seals Murray's man off the screen, so now he gets to that elbow spot, sees Lopez not stepping up as he is looking to cover Capella, a little behind the back move into a mid-range shot here and he hits it. And this is just Murray getting comfortable reading how the defense is playing him and taking what the defense is given. He rejects the screen here, hits his defender for quick behind the back on a drive which freezes the defender. As mentioned before, he believes he can shoot over anyone. So even as the defender recovers and gets a contest, looking at his release point, that high release, turns his body to stay on balance and align to the rim, this is just a bucket for him. His drives and finishing at the rim has gotten better over the years. He drives to the rim much more frequently. So here the Hawks look to run a stagger for DeAndre Hunter to get action on the weak side. So if the weak side occupied in action, Murray looks to take George Hill one on one, gets a quick glide going left to right, accelerates getting downhill in a straight line, and finishes with a layup. Murray's playmaking is going to be valuable in a backcourt next to Trey Young. The Hawks run a ton of ball screens. They run some off ball stuff for shooters, and Murray is capable of making the right reads. He shines bright as an interior passer. His connection with Jakob Perto when he was on the Spurs was a bright spot. So this is a standard play for the Hawks. Murray has the ball. Trey Young will move starting from the right wing to the left corner and receive an exit screen from Capella. The exit screen is kind of sloppy here, not really an effort to screen Holiday. Up top, John Collins will come from the left elbow and set a ball screen and slip immediately. Grayson Allen stays attached to Murray, Portis plays high at the level of the screen, which opens up Collins and just check this quick beam right over Portis' head with the left hand on the money and Collins dunks this home. This is the exact same play, but the ball screen is switched by the Bucks, looking to take away the roll. But now there is more of an emphasis on the exit screen by Okongwu for Justin Holiday, so Holiday is able to spot up in the corner off the screen for three here. 
As mentioned before, Murray excels as an interior passer. He gets a drag screen. Now here the defense is looking to go under that screen. Defenses don't really believe much in Murray's ability to shoot the three ball. 32% three point shooter. So he is going to face defenders going under his ball screens frequently. But he is able to come back here, going left with a between the legs cross. He gets in the lane here. Now Allen is trying to recover back. This is a risky pass with Lopez right in the way, right in the lane. But he is able to bounce this to the Roland Alkangu. Good catch. Just gets it to him right on the money and he finishes. Really like how he identifies the mismatch and transition here. Good job by Collins on the seal. Now Connaughton is looking to switch off, hoping Lopez gets back so he doesn't look to show much resistance against Collins. Murray with the nice pass with the right arm leading to a Collins layup. DeJounte's ability to get rebounds and push the ball up, identify scoring opportunities is really going to be a plus for this offense as it allowed him to play much quicker. He keeps his head up in transition here, sees Okongwu looking to seal his defender, gets this pass high and over to Okongwu into his hands leading to a layup. DeJounte Murray and Trey Young are in for a big season this year and they are both great mid-range players who can get downhill and make plays. It was a really good preseason debut for Murray. I just want to highlight some stuff I saw from his first game that I'm impressed with. I still want to see what more off-ball stuff they will run for Trey Young and how the three-point shooting will develop from this team in the future. The three-point shooting is the only thing holding Murray back from being a legit three-level scorer, but he gives you everything you need and more from a guard, from scoring to defense and rebounding. That'll wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy basketball content like this. And for all that being said, I'll see you all in the next video.